question here about what if we have a side topic that we're getting more interested in and we want to like lean into that without having to rebrand um, because maybe our main topic uh, might not seem related or might, yeah, it, it's different. The side topic is different. So actually this is a good, <laughs> this is a good question because I right now am planning to launch a spiritual coaching program in the next month or so. And that is very different than my, than my normal topic of authentic business. So how am I going to do that? Well, in my case, I, I actually happen to be lucky that I started doing a side topic like a couple years ago called Soul. I, 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 I wanted to do an experiment where it wasn't connected to my name. I wanted to build an audience anonymously. So I had called Soul Gym. So I, I think my spiritual purpose, I might, I might as well take that name. But even if I didn't have Soul Gym, would I still go under my own brand, George Cow? Um, I think so. I think I would. Because, and it doesn't matter, I you know, think about, should I use Soul Gym or not? Anyway, because, well, people know me. And whatever side topic we have is not so radically different from what we have. I mean, it's like, it's still within the energy signature, you know, of, of who we are, right? Like, I always make this funny example of like, okay, if I started a flower arrangement, you know, training or something like that. I mean, that's, well, I mean, you see flowers around me all the time, so that's not too far, far-fetched. Right. But if I started like a, a dolphin, dolphin uh, writing training, <laughs> I mean, that'd be really, that'd be pretty far fetched. And uh, I could probably make it work under the George Cow brand somehow because, you know, energy signature. But um, back to this. OK, side topic. My recommendation is you just simply launch it as 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 one of your courses, one of your group programs. See how it does. And the bigger it becomes the more it deserves its own brand, possibly. Um, well, here's the thing. We all, the truth is we all have multiple brands, all of us. Every single course we teach is its own brand already. Um, it's just a mini brand. It's not something we promote as our own domain name. Our own domain name is maybe just George Cow or you know, um, whatever it is your, your, your current domain name is, it's fine. But under, underneath your domain name, you have multiple services, packages, products. Every single service package product is its own brand, technically speaking. So people might remember it as, you know, oh, George's um, Facebook ads course. That's, my own, that's its own brand now, the, the, face, the George Cow Facebook ads course, whatever. Or, or, or the authentic videos course is another brand that I have. But I don't, I don't have own domain name. I don't have a separate social media channel. It's just, so that's what I mean is that you start a new course or group program, you launch it, you fill it, you see how it goes, you really enjoy it. If you really enjoy it, you keep launching again and again. And then as it becomes more popular over the years, you might say, you know what, this need, this is almost like its own movement now or its own community now, its own identity now. And now I'm gonna call it its own identity. I'm gonna maybe launch it as its own website, maybe even its own social media channel if it gets to that level of size if you want to start focusing on that but i would say don't don't launch another social media platform yet um don't launch a website yet just build it out for now and see if because it could always it could always forever uh reside underneath your own website as its own you know for example if i if the spiritual coaching thing takes off i can always just have it at georgecow.com spiritual and that's where people go for my spiritual coaching program and then georgecott.com on its own is just my business stuff or my umbrella. At that point, if it really became that big, uh, where it's like, okay, when you go to georgecott.com, you'll have two things. You'll have business or spiritual. You click on a button. You click on an image, which, which path you want to go. And then that, that I, if I wanted to keep it simple, that's what I would do. So hope that helps. And then, you know, now that you mentioned that, I've seen you do that because you used to have two yeah. buttons about um, joyful productivity. I still and do. <laughs> authentic marketing. Okay. Yeah. And then you, do. and then one became TLC. I right, mean, like exactly. TLC is a whole yes. group pro program. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I, yeah, I right. th th these two things are different enough where some people just come to me for this. Some people just come to me for that. Um, but yes, you, yeah, you're right. You're right. TLC has become its own uh, identity really i mean it's called tlc and some people think of me as that and 
Um, and I haven't even done a good job of branding it on my site, to be honest with you. So, uh, but yes, that eventually, you know, the funny thing is with the TLC is, as an example, I'm actually retiring that, that name. You know, I tried it out for two years and I'm like, you know, it's okay. It just, I never was comfortable with it. So I'm going to retire it. And next year it's going to be called something else. I'm trying out a new brand. Um, so this is why I like the fact that I don't have multiple websites and multiple social media channels uh, to manage. You know, I just have one, the George Cow, and I could always play with it for years. I could play with a different topic until I, I really think in terms of years, like give myself three years to play with a topic. And if it really becomes that big over time, it's like, no, it has to have its own identity now. But don't, I don't start a new brand and new identity so fast because it's so much work. I mean, who wants to do the branding work and the, another social media channel, another, pff, too much work, right? Well, we can always start, you know, with, with, with our own website. And, yeah. Gregory's bringing up a great point and I, I, I should have meant I, something I should be addressing, which is the, the common question is, are we confusing people when we have multiple niches within our website or our social media um, channel? And uh, it is a legitimate question. And it, of course, depends on how related or different those two or multiple niches are. I mentioned before, I always make the joke about if I had a business coach, flower arranger, and dog trainer, um, and dolphin writing expert, uh, you know, on my website, it would be, it would be odd, right? It, <laughs> it would be odd. But the funny thing, not the funny, I mean, the, the, the truth of the matter is, of course, there is no perfect answer to this. There's no yes or no. It's just a whole it's a spectrum of people because some people would come here and like, be turned off if I literally had those four niches. Be like, this is a weird guy. Like, I, I don't, I was looking for his business coaching, but I don't think he's professional enough because look at, look at his weird, you know, hobbies or whatever that he's putting on here. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave. And some people would be like, but the funny, not the funny, the truth of it matter, funny thing is the most true fans, right? The, the people who most resonate with my energy signature, if literally I was like that, if literally I was passionate about all four topics and I was like, I'm just gonna put it on my website. I believe, I believe in these things, right? The ideal audience member would go, whoa, this guy is like a Renaissance man. Look at this, so cool. Yeah, I've been thinking about dolphin writing. I, I, I was going to go for the business coaching, but who knows? I might dip into the, 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 the dog training, you know, as well. So, so, so yeah, it's the, the, the question is how bold uh, do we want to be in putting our freak flag out there? I mean, the freak flag, that's a, but not necessarily <laughs> freak flag. It's just another side of who we are. How bold do we want to be in just, this is me. And this is the different parts of me that I'm all passionate about. And I believe I can deliver great services in. That's the thing. I, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm not putting dog training on my site because I don't believe I could deliver a good service. I have hobby interest, hobbyist level interest in it. But Gregory, with you, your acting coaching is not a hobby level interest. You've been a, you've been a professional actor. You are a professional actor. You've done it professionally, coaching people professionally. That's not a, you know, that's that's a real thing for you. So I think for you, Gregory, life coaching and sort of like conscious acting coaching. I think I think the right person coming to your site will be like, wow, that's cool, you know. Um, and, and and yes, like I said, the, there's a spectrum. The most true fans will will be the, the will be delighted. Obviously, the the least ideal fans will be turned off right away, and, and then they'll leave. And then there are people in between who'll be like. That's a little odd. I, I don't think the acting is odd, but like back to my example, dolphin business coaching, that's a little odd, but I, I'm willing to give it a try. Maybe I've heard about George, you know, from other people. And they, they said, please, please. I know he's a little weird, but give him a try. It's weird that he has the dolphin and the business and the flower thing on there, but give him a try, right? Like the person in the middle would be like, it's weird, but I'm willing to give you a try. And then once they dive in, you know, I, that's a, 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 another truth is if we start with low expectations, they can only be delighted after, <laughs> after that, right? It's like, so if they start by thinking we're weird, right? I, it's, it's funny, like that's kind of like my content strategy, you know, ever since I'm grateful, I'm 
ever since I built an audience in the beginning, I was much more, prof- I was trying to be more like polished and professional and like trying to build an audience. And then over time, I'm like, I'm just going to let it all go. I'm going to be weird. I want to be unpolished because first of all, I'm kind of tired to, about being polished now, but secondly, I'm going to be weird and unpolished and, and un- imperfect and sometimes turning people off because I know along that spectrum, I don't need these people anymore. <laughs> like I'm kind of tired. I just wanted more and more of these people because actually to be honest, my audience is big enough. Like I understand the person in the beginning who's like, I don't have any audience members. I don't have a single client. That's where I feel like, okay, the motivation, I understand the motivation where you do want to attract the whole spectrum and you do want to look more professional and more together and more focused. I get that. But for those of us who have the fortune of having a big enough audience or enough patience. If we have the blessing to have enough patience, (laughs) then we can let the more authentic parts be all shown and then let the the more true fans go, wow. Because actually the fact is, the more we're willing to let our authentic parts show, the more weird we are, the more unique we actually are and the more we stand out too. Because the, everyone who's trying to be professional and focused and put together, they all start to look the same after a while. Yeah, that, that, that makes good. That when, makes when, do you, when are you going to find a guy who's on the website is you got transformational life coaching and you know, conscious acting coaching or whatever you end up calling it. It's like really unique, you know? Thank, thank you. I really appreciate it. And as you were sharing what came forward that had never as <laughs> self-evident as it might be for someone else. But what, what came forward for me was there is a bridge that makes it make perfect sense, which is yes. for me, like transform. it yeah. always has, it always has felt like branches of the same tree. It's like each one for mm. me acting and acting coaching and has all been me sharing my loving, but, yes. al- but also it's in the context of authentic expression, totally. whether it's, whether it's authentic That's beautiful. living yes. by, 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 by like, uh, I think of the Michelangelo, quote, yes. Yes. you know, of chipping yes. away those things that aren't the day. Right. Right. You yeah. know, that's yeah. part of, part of it is, is the, the getting, letting go of limiting yes. beliefs, trauma, whatever yeah. the things are so that the authentic, the authentic, uh, beauty Right of 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 the individual, whatever they're doing, can can shine and they can yes. enjoy, enjoy and connect. Yes, it's actually very similar. Even in, in even though one might be entering the imaginary world of a see, script, that that is yeah that right yeah, right right. It's so, still see, a stripping away, not just putting on a mask. Right. Yeah, and then and of course, uh, life is but a stage, right? I mean, <laughs> there's so much connection. I'm, but but. Uh, the fact that you say, I've always seen that connection is significant as, of a signal. It's mm-hmm. like your soul or your purpose is, has been calling you to connect the dots for a long time. Mm-hmm. Now you're saying maybe it's time to publicly connect the dots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. And for me, like a big criteria of like the way I look at it is like, spirit's signature on something yes is my experience of am i being nourished while yes. serving yes and in, and in this recent coaching mm, session I, I was reminded like this is so nourishing to me to be a, a part of supporting someone in this particular way yeah the acting coaching yeah, yeah as, that's as amazing. yeah that's amazing. as another thank branch you. of what i do yeah thank you yeah thanks thank you so for this yeah that's great yeah, and Katie, you have a good talk, good point here about how every topic or area of the website and launch and our kind of overall business uh, niches takes time and energy. And it's just like, how much time and life do we have and energy do we have for covering different niches? It's, it's a real question. And it's like, if, 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 you know, for example, for Gregory, if you are going to put the, the acting um, alongside your life coaching on your site, you do need to announce or gentle launch the acting part of the site on some kind of regular basis. Otherwise, it's just like going to wither away. It's like, why is, it, why is it on your site if you're not going to talk about it at least once a year? Or at least once we launch something, right? The same thing with my, with my thing. You know, I've got authentic marketing, joyful productivity. At least once a year, I'm launching something on both of those things. 
otherwise it's like yeah why might why is that so prominent on my site so yeah that's a very good point 